G'day, welcome back to the Design, Creativity and Technology channel. My name's Aaron. In tonight's episode of Fusion Fortnite, we're gonna be covering the design and construction of a center punch using Fusion 360. So one of the first turning projects we do at Harvester College with our students on the lathe, on the manual machines, is to make their very own center punch. Now the students are required to draw their center punch in CAD using Fusion 360 before they actually go to the lathe and make it. To make their center punch, they'll need to use some, some basic turning principles such as facing, tapered turning, parallel turning, some finishing techniques such as linishing and touching one edge with a, with a lathe file. Upon finishing their center punch, it'll be required for the students to actually blue their part and harden the tip and of course test it to ensure that it works. So let's move over to the CAD side of things now and draw this center punch. So today uh, we're going to be drawing this center punch in Fusion 360. Now if we look down in the timeline you'll see how we're going to do it. We'll start off with a sketch by drawing a polygon. We'll extrude that polygon 100 millimeters from the, uh, from the sketch plane. Uh, we'll then apply some other sketches and we'll do what's called a revolve cut. Uh, and this is the actual feature here, the revolve cut feature. And then at the end we'll put on a fillet, a 0.5 fillet on the end here as well. Now before we start I want to ensure that you're, once again, you know the way I like to work. I like to work in uh, Z up. Um, check your name, make sure your name is displayed up here. If you're using a lab computer, um, someone else may not have signed off from their account. So ensure that yeah, your account is logged into Fusion 360. And before we get going, make sure you come over here and select the file where you're going to be saving this today. So for my students, it will be in their folder that I make them set up for you. It may want to be in your first project folder, etc. Okay. Um, close my data panel here. And I'm going to start with a file, new design. And I'm going to click new sketch. And bring my mouse up to the top here and you'll see this pane here which is the blue and green axial plane now ensure you select the correct one that i that i selected you can see here that my x-axis is running across and you can see the numbers displayed here and you'll see my green my y-axis is going up this way and the numbers are shown this way ensure your screen looks like that so you've picked the right work plane select the sketch drop down tab we're going to go polygon we want to get a circumscribed polygon and we make sure we want to snap exactly to the center point here click the mouse once and start start to drag out okay now it doesn't matter about your size at the moment but just ensure that as you're dragging out that you're following the red line there snap it to the red line remember don't come off that red line what you want to do now is d for dimension and we're going to select that side and that side drag up and we're going to type in 12 decimal zero enter and we can bring that down now we can we're going to extrude that now so e for extrude um, you'll see that it's gone into the home position the home view which is the isometric view we're going to extrude this body now we can either click on that profile to extrude it or we can just type in 100 and enter so 100 millimeters okay we need to do our next uh, revolve cut we've got to draw a sketch okay but before we go any further let's save that document now so we're going to click save and ensure your location is going into the folder where you need to save it a lot of people save in fusion and they can't remember where they put it so check your location that it is going in your folder where you need to go or where your instructors asked you for it to go we're going to call this center punch Okay, so we need to pick up a center line here. So the best way to do this, guys, is to expand the origins box here. You can see it here, this tab here. And when we come through here, you can see zero, X, Y, Z, they're the axes. These are the planes. We want to pick this X, Z plane here. Now I click my mouse on it once. So watch again, left mouse click once, let go of the mouse key, right click on it now and go create a sketch. Okay, zoom out, I'm gonna bring it over here. Now to do my construction, I'm gonna be doing it up the top here, and then I'll be dragging it in position. So L for line, and we're simply just gonna go click from here, go down. Then we're gonna go on a diagonal, drop down one, drop across one, go up to the same height and across. Now you'll notice when I drew all these, all these were perfectly vertical or horizontal lines. 
this was a diagonal line. You could see I went one, two spaces down and across, down on an angle and around. So we need to put some dimensions on these now, okay? Now you can still see I have my line tool selected. Press the escape key once. D for dimension. We're gonna click this top line and drag up and he's gonna be 60 millimeters, okay? We're gonna use the, keeping our dimension key, it should still be in dimensioning. Click that line and drag out. This one's going to be 18. Now, it's paramount that we make these two here. So we're gonna click this uh, diagonal line first, let go of the mouse, click that vertical line and snap it. And it should be 45 degrees, okay? Now, this line here to this top line needs to be six. Now we can drag some of these up a little bit just to make the drawing look a little bit more respectable. And I'm gonna move these around here. And the reason I do this is so you can actually see what I'm doing. Now there's two more dimensions I need to add and this will fully define this, okay? Fully define means we'll lock it all in and it won't move when we're trying to move it. Okay, so now you can see that I've got 10 millimeters here, which is this vertical line here, 60 on the top, 18 on the side, five on the bottom. This little angle here, Coming up here, guys, is at 45 degrees. You can see that. This angle here is six degrees. Now, it'll all make sense when I bring it down to show you, okay? So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna press the escape key, and I'm gonna grab that corner, and I'm just gonna drag it down here till it touches the center. Now, watch again how I did that. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit for you, so you can see it. I grab the tip of my drawing there. I click and hold my left mouse key. I want it to touch the edge, okay? I'm dragging it down and you'll see it snap to the red axis line. Now when it snaps, you'll see a triangle appear to the left hand side, just there when I let go of the mouse. What we're going to do now, we're gonna do the revolve cut feature. So we're gonna go create, revolve. To do this, it's best to do it in a home position, which is this isometric view. You can see how I've drawn that sketch exactly in the center. Now, so start from the top, we're gonna to select the profile. Here's our profile. You'll see one is selected. Now come down to axes, click that, and we wanna pick the X axis here. Now watch as I touch it, you'll see the blue, red, and green. You'll see this red one change, uh, go to a bold when I put my mouse over it. You'll see the Y one do the same thing, and the Z when I just flash these up here. I want you to click the X one, ensure that it says cut, 360 degrees and click OK. And you can see now we've got this lovely looking center punch and that's exactly how it's gonna look on the lathe after you machine it. So we need to apply the same thing to the end here, okay? If you look at my original design, if I click over here, you can see it here as well. Now, this is good practice because this teaches you how to edit your feature and how to edit your sketch. Down the bottom here in my timeline, you can see this is my sketch, this is my feature. We're gonna right click and go, so click off it, sorry. We're gonna right click on that and go edit sketch. Come over here, we're gonna draw the, a little box again. So we're just gonna draw it up here. Um, we're gonna come across a little box about five by 10. Okay, if that didn't work, just uh, finish off your line. Make sure they're all perfect. Okay, D for dimension. So this one will be 10, this one will be five. Now what we need to do, we need to dimension from this point here. If I zoom in a little bit, you'll see the line is black, but when I come to that red line and just to one side a little bit, you'll see a dot appear. You wanna click that dot, see that there again? If I touch the line, it goes bold, come down a little bit and I go to the right a fraction, you'll see a dot, click that dot once now what I need you to do is come up here and click the bottom of that line. And you now dimension that. That needs to be five, all right? What we're going to do now, we're gonna make this coincident, okay? So I push escape to get out of the dimension tool. I'm gonna to select this point I'm on the rectangle that I drew, that point, hold my shift key and pick that line there. And we're gonna make this over here in our sketch palette a coincident. Okay, 
what we can do now is stop sketch. Now you notice that nothing has happened. So we need to go in here and we need to edit the feature by simply putting our mouse on and right clicking, go edit feature. And it brings us back to this box here. Now, once again, let's just close that one and that one and let's start again. Let's select the two profiles. I'm gonna select this back profile first. You'll see it go one selected. I'm gonna select this second profile. You'll see in my profile I have two selected. In the axes, I'm gonna click that box down. It's asking me to select it. Come over, remember, to our origin tree on the left-hand side and click X. And you'll see the two cuts appear. Click OK. And now we nearly have our finished center punch. And if I just rotate that on the cube, you can see that. Righto, guys, what we need to do now, we need to put a fillet on this edge here. So we're going to click Modify, Fillet, click that edge, type in 0 decimal 5, so 0 0.5, and click OK. Now we can click on that and put it in another isometric view and you can see this nice rounded edge and you'll do that on the lathe uh, either with a tool or a file and just get that nice edge there and this will stop it splintering when you hit it with a ball peen hammer. Back to our home view. Remember before we sign out we need to save our work. Now if you want to, if you want to put some sort of appearance on this you can. Uh, right click on your center punch, come over here to appearance, so watch again. I can close that tree and get them all looking neat. Right click here. We want to go appearance. Our library comes up here. We can click the drop down on the library. We can pick other stuff. At the moment, we can pick metals. Uh, I'm going to pick gold. And of course, my computer's a, on my laptop here. So it doesn't really show me that much. I can scroll down. You can see it's only got one option. I'm going to click there, hold the hand, and drag it onto my job. And you can see now I can close that. I've got a, like a gold appearance to my center punch. Uh, before you get out of this, you need to save your work, of course. So click Save. And you check your data panel to ensure that your job's gone up there to the cloud. You can see it populating now. Well, there we have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Fusion Fortnite. Um, as always, I'd really appreciate the thumbs up, uh, the likes, the subscribes, and I really appreciate the shares, guys. I'm trying to grow the channel, doing the best I can. So if you'd like to see me make this in a punch, please click in the video box here. And once again, if you uh, want access to the plans for this, please look below in the description. Come back next time and uh, hope to see you again soon. Cheers.